What's up YouTube, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to show you a really quick solution on how to get any link inside of a rich text block to open inside a new window. So, click this link, it opens a new tab. Wonderful, we click this link, it opens a new tab. Great, let's close both of those. And then this is a block of content which isn't inside of our rich text element. And if we click on this, it opens in the same tab because we haven't changed any settings inside Webflow. Now the reason you might want to do this is if you're bringing over hundreds of articles from a WordPress website for example, each article has got 10 to 100 links inside, this does happen, and then we don't want the client or us to have to go in, highlight every single link, click the little settings cog, click that tiny little checkbox that says open link in new tab, that tiny little tick and then republish the project, that is going to take ages so this is a very quick solution in order to teach you guys how to do this we're going to break this down into three stages so step one we're going to just show you how the project is set up in webflow stage two we're going to add in our code snippet and then add the class name of our rich text block super easy two seconds and then finally we will just test it and make sure it works so let's jump into webflow Right, so here we are inside Webflow. We've got quite a basic client first setup going on here. And then we just have a blog list here. So this is just 10 articles generated by Webflow in order for us to be able to use the CMS. And then inside the blog post template here, we have a rich text block here with a bunch of links. So if we have a look in here, if we click on one of these links, it's just going to open in the same tab. We don't want that. We want to force every link to open in a new tab. So let's grab our custom code snippet and I will put this in the description of the video for you. We're just gonna copy this. We're going to come into the page settings here and scroll all the way down to the bottom. We wanna be pasting it before the body tag. This is very important. And then you can see here, we just have a tiny little script and the only thing we need to worry about here is this class name. So this needs to be the class name of your rich text box. We can see ours is text rich text which is the default for the client first projects. And you can see that it's gone A here. So we're saying any links, any A tags inside this text rich text class, we're gonna target blank, which means open this link in a new tab. So here we go, let's publish the site. How quick was that? We're moving into testing already, guys. Here we go, it's thinking about it. And let's refresh. And now those links that we've got in here, which previously were opening in the same tab, now open in a new tab. And then anything outside of the text box, so this is where the rich text box ends. So here we click on this, and this remains as we set it up in Webflow. Super easy, super simple. I hope this tip helped. Just make sure that you definitely have a class name on your rich text element and that you are updating this bit of code, not that bit of code, there's nothing there. This bit of code here, just make sure you're updating your class name. That's it for now. See you in the next video.